So you know I had to cover this news story. This news story is just too funny not to pass up. So there's this guy na named Evan Osno. Sorry if I'm butchering his name. And this pretty much proves why you should not give a smart device to a small child or to a small toddler. You know something bad is bound to happen. So basically what happened with this guy named Evan Osno, so he pretty much gave his small toddler this iPad that he owned, but when he came back, to get the iPad, something bad had happened to the iPad. Basically, if you didn't know anything about uh, Apple devices, specifically their iPads and their iPhones, if you have a traditional password on it and you keep repeatedly typing in the wrong password to your iPad or to your iPhone, it'll pretty much lock you out. But the thing is, it won't just lock you out and let you retry the password. Basically, it'll put a timer on it and the timer will just keep on going up the longer you keep on typing the incorrect password. And that's pretty much the situation this Evan Osno dude pretty much got himself into. He got himself into to this funny situation where the iPad was pretty much locked out. But here's the funny thing about the situation. It wasn't a small amount of time that he actually got the iPad locked out of. He actually got the iPad locked out for many, many years. I'm talking probably most of his life or maybe even decades at this point. Now take a look at this picture because this story is a real story. And here's a, a picture on the internet of how long this iPad was actually locked out for. You can see the iPad was actually locked out for 25 million minutes, which equals about 48 years so that's absolutely bonkers that for some reason his child got this iPad locked up for 48 years or 25 million minutes and that's absolutely uh, bonkers that the iPad is locked up for that many years and of course no uh, human in their right mind is going to wait 48 years or 25 million million minutes to get their iPad unlocked. Most likely they have to use the iPad right then and there so it makes sense they would want to call out for help. So of course that's what this dude did. He called out for help for this iPad situation and he pretty much took to Twitter and tried to ask for help but a lot of people out there really didn't help him. You know being the internet you know you're going to get some sarcastic people and there was definitely some sarcastic people. One person actually told to put the uh, iPad in rice, but if you know anything about electronics, you usually only put devices such as like an iPad, a tablet, a smartphone in rice. If something has bad has happened to it, especially a waterlogged device, that's typically when you use rice. So you guys know that's definitely not the way to fix a locked out iPad. And then some people who are smart Alex out there, of course, they're just told this guy, well, all you have to do is wait the 48 years for this thing. You think he's gonna wait the 48 years? He could even be dead by the time this thing unlocks itself. And that is not a practical idea. And then some other people told him some really weird and bizarre things that really did not make sense. Basically what happened after that is he finally got the iPad into recovery mode and he finally recovered the iPad. Of course, he probably lost everything on the iPad unless he backed up everything on the iPad, but he did indeed finally get it uh, locked he did finally get it unlocked and he can finally uh, use the iPad. So the story actually had a very good ending in this point and that's absolutely good for this man who pretty much gave this tablet to his small daughter or a child who uh, played around with this. That also proves sometimes passwords are not necessarily a good thing. They can actually be a bad thing, especially for someone like him giving it to someone else, like a kid who doesn't know what they're doing, just messes around with the iPad, can actually lock up the iPad. Or maybe you're a person that's forgetful and just keeps forgetting the password and keeps locking himself up and the minutes keep going up on that situation. So not always is a password the right way to go about a device. Sometimes if you know you have ownership of the device and you're not necessarily going to lose it in the long run and no one's really around it, maybe you're better off just not using a password altogether or doing something else, maybe like a fingerprint scanner or like an eye scanner or something else than a traditional password which you can actually forget in the long run. And then on top of this, it really does prove in this day and age, it's just sometimes not a good idea to let your little toddler or let your little child actually use your smart device, whether we're talking about an iPad, a smartphone, a tablet, a computer, because things can go wrong. And in this situation, things got very hectic and definitely went sour for this man. I do remember a couple of years ago, there was this toddler who was playing an application on someone's phone and they didn't know anything about microtransactions. So every time a microtransaction came up on the screen, they kept clicking the microtransactions and this person had their credit card information on the store which I think at least with Apple you are required to have it on the store whether you uh, buy stuff or not buy stuff they're hoping you will buy stuff I think that's why Apple purposely forces you to have your credit card information on the store whether you buy stuff or not that's the reasoning because maybe down the line you'll be interested in something and then you already have your credit card information on the uh, Apple App Store but in this case the kid pretty much just click, kept on clicking 
all the microtransactions that came up in this game that popped up and what happened they pretty much spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on in-game purchases for this one game and it definitely got out of control i'm pretty sure the person was able to get all their money back on all the in-game uh, microtransactions their uh, kid actually racked up on the game without them knowing so sometimes it's just better off you make sure you know what you're getting yourself into and make sure you give Give, give your toddlers, toddler or small child the right type of device for them and do the right thing. But in this situation, everything just went sour. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.